Ah, uh, that's a target, certainly. But it's a beatable target going from the bigger hill. Taking his time, Steve Redgrave. He knows what it's like to get it right at the finish. I think Steve's going to rely on the speed much, much faster than the 24-meter jump. And I think he's going to rely on that. He doesn't have to jump quite as hard. He'll use that speed to his benefit. Just look at the concentration on his face there. Big, deep breaths. Carrying the medals with him, it seems. Not really, of course. And here he goes. Can he get off the top? That was actually quite a good jump. He had a quite a good set himself in the in run. Not, he didn't jump as hard as he could have done. Uh, was a little bit forwards, a little bit unsteady on his feet, but it was still a very good jump. I think he'll be quite pleased. Has he done enough though? Oh, they've both done their best. And they've both done a good jump. Yeah. I know where I put my money, but I'm not saying it's all yours, Davina. <laughs> Um, Steve, I was really impressed with that jump, but you didn't look so impressed. What was going through your mind? Uh, the window, it's a bit warm in there. I had to un unwind the windows very quickly. <laughs> Not very balanced, um, but uh, no, I I've got no idea where I landed. Normally know, I normally know where I land, but I've got no idea. There. Should we find out? So are you still in the game? The distance you have to beat is 12 metres. That's what Darren did. Have you managed it? Who is staying with us tonight? Steve, your jump measured at... 14.5 metres! Yes, you did enough. We will see you in your next event. Well, he was pretty fearless going down the uh, giant slalom of course. But then he came to the skeleton and life changed. That will cost him a bit. Over a second quicker than Darren at 20.38.